Today I wanted to show you uh, some of the scripting functionality we added in Fast Video Cataloger 5. So scripting probably won't be useful for everyone, but if you know some basic programming it can be an extremely powerful tool to use to automate things you do a lot, connect Fast Video Cataloger to other programs, to for example batch convert videos, uh, yeah, and basically do things with videos that you would need to do with other program. You can integrate your workflows into Fast Video Cataloger and basically get more done faster. So let's have a look at scripting. So first, uh, in the Windows menu, you go to the script console and then you will see the script window. So this is split into two big areas. Top of the window, you have the script and bottom you have the output from the script. So by default there is a, it's a loaded script here. You can edit it as you want. So And to run it you click the run. So now I'm just gonna select a video here in my catalog. Any video will do. And then I click run to run the script. And what does this script basically does is checking which video is selected and then print the name of that or rather not the name, but the ID of that video. But you can basically print anything of the currently selected video and it would work if you have more than one selected videos. And you could also, for example, pick the path of the currently selected video and then run an external program to do something with that file. So that's just, just the basics. So with the package, uh, there is a number of sample scripts. So let's load the simplest of them all, Hello World, like the classic one for all programming languages. So, so here we have a simple Hello World program. Let's run that and see. Yeah, it prints Hello World in the console output. So the script basically starts has a class, doesn't really matter what it is, uh, it just needs to be in a class and then it needs to have a run function where you get the scripting input and an argument. And the argument in this case is whatever you write in this field. So let's write my name and then we can change the script. So the, the scripting function basically works by you have the basic script interface scripting scripting we have a number of other interfaces you can get from the base scripting interface so console is one of those so console is basically this window and then you have a function write line which write a text line into the console so let's now change this to instead of printing hello world we print hello and then whatever we pass in as argument to the script which is in this case my name so Let's put argument there, and then let's run the script, and then you see it says hello Frederick, and of course I forgot the space, so let's add that, and then okay, hello Frederick. So you see it's pretty quick to do the scripts, It's you have quick turnaround and you can easily change stuff and see the results. Um, so what can you then do? Uh, with the scripting la language, how can you change the database? Well, basically we have a script documentation. If you look in the install folder uh, where you, the program is installed, you have, first of all, you have the script folder and the sample folder with a bunch of samples. Then you have a video cataloger folder. Let's go back to that later. But first of all, you have a specific documentation for the script API. It's called the cataloger documentation. Click that and then you have full documentation to the scripting API as a basic background. So if you look at the video cataloger, there you have the interfaces in the, the basic console, the one we used to print text there. So here's what you can do with that. Uh, we have the scripting interface, the base one, you have the get console, get selection, and then you get the access to everything in Fast Video Cataloger. And then if you look at this documentation, here you have the full documentation of what you can do with your catalog. So you basically can do stuff like tag videos, search videos, 
uh, get information of videos and so on. So yeah, have a look at that if you're interested and then let's go back to the other thing we had here. So in the script folder, video cataloger, we have created a Visual Studio solution file for you. So if you load that stuff, uh, you're gonna load Visual Studio and here in this solution we basically have all the scripts loaded, all the sample scripts loaded uh, and you can basically click on them and then use Wish Studio which you can you can download Wish Studio code for free from Microsoft if you don't have the professional version and here you can you get syntax highlighting of the scripts like makes it a bit easier to read you you get stuff like uh, IntelliSense so if you write scripting here I get help with the functions available and I can also compile the scripts. You, you don't need to compile a script since it's basically compiled when you run them in Fast Video Cataloger but uh, when you develop them in Visual Studio you can compile them with build here and that will give you uh, help with syntax and you get errors before you even load it in Visual Studio or sorry in Fast Video Cataloger. So I would recommend get Visual Studio develop a script in there and then like do the final tweaking inside of Fast Video Cataloger. So that was a really high level walkthrough of the scripting capabilities of Fast Video Cataloger. I hope we'll do more videos later with more in-depth and discussion of like the samples we have from the beginning and perhaps develop some more advanced scripting and to help you get the most out of Fast Video Cataloger. Thank you.